Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessie. If you're new here, I unbox subscription boxes and more. Today I'm really excited to delve into a new box for my channel. It's called the Weevolve box. And this is the Fe February box. I know I'm kind of late on it, but basically this company has two different boxes that they um, offer every other month. So this is the Wisdom Keepers box. And basically both both boxes are mystical subscription boxes. So and this is a book that came in the box, big spoiler alert, but it's covering my address um label since this box was uh quite small and really just had this sticker as far as uh, artwork goes. So if you're interested in seeing what states what's in this amazing Weevolve box, please stay tuned. When you open up the box this is what it looks like um i love this amazing astronomical astrological postcard um it's got a lot of constellations on here it's obviously got pegasus in the outline um i mean there's a whole bunch um Can canis minor Canis Major down here showing the two dogs. I mean, it's really, really cool. Um, so you know that I'm totally into that. And basically, this talks about the um, Wisdom Keepers book box, and it's a product guide. Uh, what I do, I'll do is I'll tell you more about the each different ex subscriptions at the end of the video because right now I would just like to get into the items. Um, so basically, it, it looked like this. And when I opened it up, I have opened it already. The book was, because clearly I showed you the book. The book is at the bottom, so basically underneath this um, gorgeous piece. So we're going to start here uh, underneath the card. Um, this is what it looked like on the inside. And uh, this is very soft, by the way. So let's read more about um, this box. So for the February's box, this month we take a deep dive into the wisdom and power of the heart. The heart is considered by many to be the seat or home of the soul. Center your attention on the heart and allow it to guide you to a deeper relationship with the spirit. So I really, really, really like that idea. Um, when I saw this theme, I was just like, I have to get this month's box. I was super, super excited. So let's let's pull these things out, out items out. Now, spoiler alert, I have opened this already because I got it in February. And I couldn't wait since it was a new subscription. I just had to know what was inside. Um, the first thing I'm finding, of course, is a chocolate bar, but this just isn't an ordinary chocolate bar. Um, this is an Ayurveda-inspired artisanal chocolate by the company Elements Truffles. And honestly, guys, I looked up this website and looked into this company before I did this filming. Uh, it's lemon coconut with Tulsi. Tulsi is basically also known as holy basil, and it's basically Tulsi powder. Uh, so that's the ing ingredient here, which took me a little while to figure out. Um, but it's, it's raw, no dairy, small batch, sweetened with local honey, no refined sugar, no preservatives, no soy or emulsifiers, and no shortcuts. 75% cacao. So that is <laughs> 1.8 ounces of pure nirvana. It is really good. I've tasted it. I definitely taste lemon. I definitely taste coconut. I can tell that it's raw cacao, but I really, really like it. Um, but basically what this company claims is that it's the Ayurveda, Ayurveda superfood Tulsi and that it uh, balances all three of the doshas. If you guys are into doshas, I'm not sure. I know I am. Um, but Veda, Pitta, and Kapha are the three doshas. And it says that it balances all of them. And I was really curious as to how it does that. I think a lot of it is the Tulsi powder just by looking at it because it's like an anti it's a it's a medicinal herb not so much medicinal but like a wellness herb um it's got antimicrobial antibacterial tons of properties like that but in case you don't know what ayurveda is ayur means life and veda means knowledge so a science a sister science to yoga yoga that focuses on inner and outer well-being through balancing elements in the body and that's what this goal is, is to balance all three of these doshas that are a part of Ayurvedic medicine. Um, and this is fair trade organic cacao, ethically sourced from Ecuador. An intention of spreading positivity set by playing Vedic chants in the background. And I looked at the website and they, they actually claim that they make these chocolate bars while 
playing Vedic chants in the background. I know that sounds a bit silly, but I'm, I know that some people take this very seriously. I, I honestly could go on and on about this chakla bar. I think it's really interesting. If you're interested in looking up the theories behind it, here's the website. This is actually what I, where I went, uh, elementstruffles.com. It's, it's a, just an interesting read. I read their about section and, and what they believe with their chocolates and everything. This was a $7 chocolate bar uh, if you buy it on their website individually. And like I said, it is really good for raw chocolate. But the thing that the only thing that concerns me with it is that it does have lemon essential oil as one of the ingredients. And I definitely taste the lemon when I taste it. And um, I, I don't know if you've heard from some of my essential oil videos, but I'm really not one to... Inge I'm not a believer in ingesting oils, um, especially, I mean, especially in liquid form diluted in water, no way. I, I don't even really like to cook with them. I know some people do. I'm just not too sure what I want. I mean, this isn't a food. This is a chocolate bar. So I have, I have eaten bites of it. I would probably just eat a little bit of it at, at a time so the oil doesn't um, damage me in any way. I mean, it is really good. Sweetened with local honey. And guys, this packaging, this is like the most amazing packaging for a chocolate bar, can I just say. Like it's got this little pouch. And then inside is just like the the, the, the silver and the normal chocolate part. But uh, I'll show it to you. It, it's just a regular chocolate bar, really. All right, so here it is. Really just a normal chocolate bar. It does have, oh, it does have a little pretty design on it, which I'm just now seeing. Oh, it's a lotus flower lotus flower a lot that's really cool I did not notice that before so here's what the uh, product guide has to say about the chocolate bar um, it's elements truffle bar delicious and unique bars sweetened with raw honey and infused with Ayurvedic superfoods this is a food for the heart made by meditators handmade in micro batches with Vedic chanting in the background like we already read on the bar so that's really awesome all right, so the next item is this really cool geode. Um, I'm not sure, it looks like it's a whole geode. I don't know if I wanna crack it open. I guess, I mean, the best thing might be to crack it open. I don't know why there's like a like a cloth rubber band around it, um, but it's really cool. So I wanna definitely see what the product guide says and why they included the geode. Um, it's a crystal geode. It radiates energy in all directions, helps calm the heart and mind, it relaxes the spirit. All right, so they don't really say, I mean, I don't know, what do you guys think? Is this one that's made to be broken open? You know how you break them open? As a kid, I always did that. I loved, like, taking a hammer to it and breaking it open and seeing all the the nice uh, shiny crystals inside. I mean, it's definitely got that chalky geode edge. So I'm not sure what to do with that. Uh, let me know what you guys think, if I should break it open or leave it as is. I mean, do you guys, does anybody know? Do you guys have, does anybody have geodes? Do you keep them whole like this? I'm just curious. Uh, the next item is a bookmark, obviously, to go with the book. It's really pretty. I really love the design. It's got these kind of metal things going through it. Chakra Love. Root and Coral Trust. Not entirely sure what that means. Um, there's this little bell thing here. I mean, it's a really nice bookmark. Um, looks like it's got some type of plant. Um, in gold. Let's look. Let's take a look at the product guide for this, shall we? G oh, okay. I understand now. It's a gemstone bookmark made by Chakra Love Goods. This beautiful hand-selected stone in each bookmark is associated to a specific chakra energy. Ah, oh, okay. Why didn't I not see this? This is a stone. Wake up, Jess. Um, this is a stone. Um, so root coral truss. So this is the root chakra. I don't know what stone it is. Maybe like some type of what, like red jasper maybe? And anybody know? I'm, I would like to know. It's got some black uh, specks in it. Let me take a closer look. It's red with black specks. Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't know if each bookmark is different in any book. I honestly have not watched any other unboxings of this. That's one cool thing about this box is I saw it and I loved it immediately that I just, just by the description, I just ordered this box. I didn't even look for other unboxings. Usually I'm really careful. I do research into my boxes. But this one I just like totally adored. Had to have it. Um, 
so yeah, I don't know. I'll, I'll be, now I'm going to look around at other unboxings and see if people got different. Or maybe because we're on. But this is the root chakra, you'd think. I don't know. I digress. Uh, let's miss, move on. All right, so one, I, I absolutely love this pattern. Um, this is a super, super soft piece. It's made to be a scarf or an altar cloth. Um, a lot of these boxes are designed with rituals made in, my, uh, in mind. Um, so I think the pattern is absolutely ador amazingly pretty. And this is all embroidered. Like you can feel it, it's raised. It's really, really cool. I'm not sure if my lighting is doing this uh, scarf of justice. I'm trying to play with lighting. Maybe that's a little better. But it's just like a nice deep red, kind of almost maroon, but not quite. Uh, there is a loose string here, but this is just absolutely gorgeous. And I wish there was more information on how the scarf or altar cloth was made. Um, the description card just says, Beautiful scarf to brighten your mood, warm your heart space, and or can be used to create a sacred altar space. Um, I, might, I might film some boxes on the backdrop of this. I mean, this is just gorgeous. And very soft, very soft material. It would also make a lovely scarf. Um, again, really, really love this. It's, it's. I can't, I can't describe how soft it is. It's really, really nice and soft. All right. So as I continue to experiment with my filming light, I do just want to say maybe without light. What do you guys think? Without light right now, maybe this is a little bit better. You can tell the red of the scarf looks completely different. And here's the book. Uh, versus with light, the light really bleaches things out. So I'm going to try, just because it's also a meditative book, we can be a little bit darker right now in terms of lighting. So this book, The Power of the Heart, Finding Your True Purpose in Life. This is what I was really excited about when um, I saw this book. Discover how to tap into your full potential with today's greatest spiritual teachers. And I've heard of most of these teachers, actually, in my recent um, studies. The uh, artist is Baptiste de de Pape, de Pop, probably Pape, I'm sorry, I'm saying that name wrong, um, but the other um, spiritual teachers involved in this book, Maya Angelou, Deepak Chopra, Paulo Colejo, he's the one I haven't heard of, um, and Eckhart Tolle. Eckhart Tolle has a pretty cool YouTube channel if anybody's interested. Um, I haven't listened to too many of his videos yet, so I can't really vouch for it, but I have delved into it a little bit. So let me show you what the product card has to say about it. So the heart possesses its own intel intelligence capable of transforming your views of money, health, relationships, and success. Mindfulness exercises and contemplations guide you to activate the heart's special powers, including intuition, intention, gratitude, forgiveness, and love. Just hearing that makes, like I honestly, when I got this book, I delved into it right away. Uh, so, of course, you know me. I want to go through the book and show you a little bit about about it. Um, maybe we will go back to the lighting for the book. All right. So, I, of course, the table of contents. Part one is passed to the heart. Your inner power, heart and soul, opening to the heart's wisdom, the heart's intelligent, coherence, living in the here and now. I actually read through parts. I kind of skipped through to parts of chapter three in the first part. Um... And then part two is the inner powers, power of gratitude, becoming a person of the heart, creating authentic power, the powers of intention and intuition. I, I need, I really want to read that section soon, I believe. Synchronicity, the hidden order behind everything. Part three is heart in the world. You have money and career, the heart of health, love and relationships. Of course, this was a very appropriate for February box. Um, Resilience, fear, and setbacks, forgiveness, a civilization with heart. Wow. I, I, I think all of us today could agree that we need the civilization with heart um, in today's world. But And then talks about the author's path. I mean, I could really, you know me, I could go into, it's got quotes from a whole bunch of different uh, famous philosopher, philosophers, people. I mean, there's a quote, quote in here by Jane Goodall. I mean, really anybody you can think of. All right, so this book is filled with many quotes from different people, like I was saying, um, as well as contemplations, which are kind of like meditations all in itself. Some of them are more guided. There's ones that focus on breathing. But I want to read this one, Contemplation. This is from Chapter 3, um, and it's called 
hearing your heart's voice. To connect with your heart, allow yourself to find a quiet place. Sit and silence your thoughts. Let your mind go blank. Just push gently to the side any thoughts that are worrying you. Breathe into the quiet of your mind, into the space that you've opened there. Listen to your feelings without words. You may hear a gentle, calming voice, not with your ears, but with your feelings. It is this voice of your heart letting you know that all it will be well. As you listen to the inner voice of your heart, you become more attuned to your own life. You regain your sense of direction. You develop a renewed sense of who you are. You know what you want to do and why. And that's, I think that's really powerful. Um, but they also have, they have pictures in here of the different uh, contributors and the scarf is making it slippery. Let's see, uh, the heart's intelligence was one I was, I was also like going through this chapter a little bit already. Um, it's just a really, really cool book. And I'm really excited. There's like, here's a longer contemplation on sitting and listening. Um, I could really delve into this all day. But anyway, um, so, so yeah, this is a really nice, nice book. And I think it's um, going to be really interesting to read. All right, so you guys, this is the February Evolve box. We got the uh, beautiful postcard with the products and the constellations. The bookmark, the chocolate bar, the geode, which is hiding down here, and the book. Um, so this box is $29.95 a month. Again, it's called the Wisdom Keepers box. And you can get your first box of either of them off uh, for 20% off your first order. I am ordering the April box of the um, Wisdom Keepers box. Mainly because I accidentally forgot to unsubscribe. And uh, also because... I also want to see what else what's in the next box, honestly. I do like this box. I'm not sure of the next theme. It's something called Shadow Work, which is something maybe a little more mystical than what I'm used to, but I'm really open to learning anything at this point. Um, I, I really enjoy editing and um, editing. I really, I don't enjoy editing. I really, I think I said editing because I noticed my light is now totally in the picture and I'm just like, are you kidding me at this point? Um... So yeah, I really enjoy learning about things, anything really. I mean, I'm open to learning anything. So basically what I've read about shadow key, shadow work is it's being aware of patterns of judgment and shame and basically shifting those thoughts to more thoughts of joy and love. And I thought, well, that's definitely something good for anybody. So even if I don't know what shadow work is, um, maybe this will be a cool bo uh, box and it'll also come with a book. I believe I think all the wisdom keeper boxes come with a book so During the months that alternate from the wisdom keepers Box the other box that this company off offers is called an esoteric box It's a deluxe theme deluxe theme experience. So it's basically it's more items. It's five to eight meaningful sacred objects or rituals um, and it sacred objects and it comes with a ritual or a meditation um, there, there were more things like crystals mentioned, um, figurines, maybe like a Buddha, um, different types of objects that would be geared towards more towards action and like I said, doing a meditation or doing a ritual. So for, for that box, and that's also more expensive, that's $49.95 a month. That may not be, not be where I am at this time. Um, and I forgot to say, obviously, as a part of this box is this beautiful red scarf with the amazing embroidery of all the flowers. I absolutely love it. So that's the Weevolve box. Let me know what you guys think. I love that there's two different options and they alternate every other month. So I am, get, again, getting the April one. Um, and, and just so you know, the Wisdom Keepers box usually does come with one book and then three to four items um, supporting the, um, the, the theme. And usually the themes in the Wisdom Keepers box are meditation, self-care, metaphysics, chakras, intuition, and more. So I'm really looking forward to the next one. Uh, let me know what you guys think of this box. And uh, let's see. Guys, just a brief channel update too while you guys can look at everything in this gorgeous box. I still would like to know what crystal this is on my bookmark here. Um, I'm still playing with that. Root Coral Trust. If anybody has any ideas about what kind of crystal this is, let me know. Uh, but anyway, a little bit of a channel update. Uh, with the situation of everything going on right now, I am, some boxes are delaying shipments. Uh, like, for example, 
Um, my rocks box, I talked about mailing it in and getting another one. I was, I did indeed mail it in, anticipating getting another box before my month's subscription ran out. And they decided to close their company down because they're based in Ohio um, until the mid-April at this point, And that might even be continued. So without, uh, they did, they did extend the subscription. So that one, I'm kind of just waiting to see if I can get another one before my month is up. Um, I, and I am cutting back just money wise, just to be careful, just to be safe. You know, we're in a unprecedented time right now. I am going to be buying less boxes, but I only have three coming in April. One is the wisdom box of Weevolve, uh, wisdom keepers box. Uh, the other being goddess provisions and matter matter i had a three month subscription to but you guys you won't know that on my channel because i am so backlogged with boxes i have tons of content to keep us going for months so if i decide to take a little bit of break from buying new boxes you guys are going to see tons of really cool boxes that i have yet to film i mean it's just i i think i went overboard in january and february um and even did a little bit in de december so Stay tuned, definitely there's more coming on my channel. So with that, I just wanted to chat with you guys, uh, give you an update on things, because you probably, you're gonna be wondering why you might be seeing older boxes coming up. And, that, and I'm also spreading my boxes out a little bit, posting videos a little less frequently. So I should wrap this up, because this is probably too long, and I might even refilm all this, because I'll be like, this is way too long. <laughs> but anyway, thank you for hanging out with me while I chatted about my channel a little bit, and of course, unbox the February Weevolve box. Um, and until next time, I will catch you later. Bye.